Hi everyone, it's Nicole Nikki. It's Tuesday. And today I'm here to bring you a tutorial about the infamous winged liner. The winged liner, for some people, they have mastered it. They can just put it on with a flick and they can go. But me, um, if you're anything like me, you gotta work at it a little, little bit. So I'm here to help you simplify your life when it comes to the wing liner. So let's get started. Um, let me tell you about the products that I like to use. Um, I like to use this MAC Black Track, Black Track Paint Pot. And it's just a really dark black and it's a gel liner and it comes in a pot like this. Um, I also like to use the Inglot 77 gel liner. I don't know if you can see that. The 77. And it's just another gel liner that dries really, really quickly. You have to uh, move fast when you use this because this gel liner dries just like that, like instantaneous. Um, I like to use those two on my clients. For myself, I like to use the uh, liquid eyeliner, the NYX liquid line, eyeliner in black because I just like this tip. It's like a brush tip. I'm not a felt tip girl. I like the brush tip because it's so flexible. Let me show you. It's really flexible and really thin, stick thin. And the brushes I like to use when I do a wing liner are either my 263 MAC flat angle brush. And it's just a really flat, dense brush. Or my stick thin um, MAC 210 brush. It's just a really, and that's probably why I like to use the liquid liner so much because the brush reminds me of this brush. It's just really skinny and stick thin. And um, also to clean up whenever I mess up my wing, because sometimes I get a wonky wing, I like to use my MAC 212 Flat Definer Brush. And this is just a brush I use on my brows. And I also use this brush to kind of map out my wing. Um, I like to map my wing because it, it um, is a good guideline for me to use. I'm going to pin my hair back so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but whenever I have to clean up my wing or just mapping out how I want my wing to go, how I want the shape to go, I use this. And I normally dip it into my... Um, my MAC Studio Fix Concealer, um, I use the NW30, but some people like to use skin tone color. Um, but if I were to use my skin tone color, it would be NC45. But I like this one um, because the it's really thick. Don't don't judge me by this. This is terrible because I need to get a new one. But it's really thick, a really thick concealer, and it just does what I need it to do. But you can use your foundation or anything that's like your skin tone. Um, to map out your wing. And let me show you what I mean by mapping out your wing. Pin my hair back. It's a bad hair day. Okay, let me pin it back a little more. <laughs> so, what I do is, I take my concealer, my paint pot, and I dip my 212 in it, my flat definer brush. And I just take a little bit on the brush like that. And I'll wipe it off on a napkin or on the back of my hand. Today I'm going to use a napkin. Oh, I need a mirror. Let me use this one. And what I mean by mapping, I would just take it from like the bottom of my lash line and bring it outward. Like I'll angle it from the bottom of my lash line out to where I want it to go, my wing, and as far out as I want it to go. And again, that's just the guideline. You, you don't have to use do it exactly on this, this line, but it just helps you to just kind of give you some kind of guidance as to where you want to go with your wing. So I do that. And then let's see. Today I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take the 263, and I'm gonna use my Mac Gel Pot. I'm using the angle brush, and I just dip a little bit in there, and wipe a little bit off. And I like to get the, I like to get the product on both sides of my brush. So, and it actually makes it really sharp when I do that. When I kind of like get the product on both sides, it gives you a sharp, sharp. Uh, brush like that and I just take it where I mapped it and I like to write it raise my eyebrows a little bit and I'll just bring it out I map my wing first just like that and then once you do that you can just kind of start filling it in and you can make it as thick or as thin as you want it to go so I don't start all the way at the top of my wing I start start a little bit below that wing and I'll map and I just draw towards my my lid. And it's okay if you mess up because we're going to clean it up. I'm going to show you how to clean it up in case you mess it up. You see that so far? Let me get closer. I don't know if you can see. Eh. There we go. And again, I start a little bit below the wing. And I start going towards my 
lid just like that. You can pull your lid taut like if you want, um, but that's what I like to do. I, I, don't, I don't need to do that because I kind of know my eye shape. And, and then I just take it from the inner corner. Well, you want to do little strokes because if you start out with a big stroke, you may not, you may make it too thick and you don't want to do that. So, and so I'm just using little baby strokes here and I'm going to the inner corner and I'm going out with it. And I'm just connecting the wing to the, to my actual lid. Just like that. And again, you can make it as thin or as thick as you want it to be. That's kind of thin right now. So I'm going to make it a little thicker so you can really see the shape of the wing. I'm just getting a little more product on my brush. And I'm going back and I'm just making that line a little thicker. And again, as you can see, I'm just drawing towards my lid, just mapping it out. And I'm going to bring my wing out a little more too. Like that. And small strokes again you want to stay with small strokes because if you do big strokes then it can go left real quick and so it's like that and there you have that perfect wing and uh, if you mess up which I do <laughs> sometimes and um, oh and you just fill it in once you got it the shape you want and, and and the precise thickness that you want perfect wing um then you can clean it up let's just say you messed up on your wing and i want to make it a little thicker i'm going to mess up on this wing so you can see what i'm talking about let's just say i just did a really thick long wing it's wonky it's like not doing it what i wanted to do you're just going to clean it up a little bit. So I take my flat definer brush, my 212, and I'll dip it into my foundation. I'm going to use my foundation. I'm going to use my Maybelline Matte and Poreless um, foundation. You know, I thought Classic Tan was my color, but I noticed this is a little too dark for me. So um, instead, I like to use the, what is the other one? The other one, other one that I think is 330. This Classic Tan is a little bit too dark. I think the other one is a bronze or something I can't think of it right now but I'll get a little bit on my brush and I will clean up the wing so I start from the inner corner wherever I messed up and I just clean it up just like that just like that hold on I need a little more foundation on here and a wing is all about personal preference you can make it as thick or as thin as you want to um, but I, I like a, a, a somewhere in between. I don't like it too thick and I don't like it too thin. And you just draw it, start out like that, bring it down, bring your foundation down and just blend it out with your finger or a brush. Just make sure the line is really straight. That's it. You see what I did? So that's the perfect wing. And let me show you another way how to do your wing. Let's just say you don't like this 263 brush. You're like, nah, I'm not really an angle brush girl. Um, then I'll use my 210, the stick thin one. Um, same thing. I'll map out my wing on the other side. See this wing? All right, I can cheat on this eye. Let me show you what I mean. Because on this eye, I have like a mark. You see that mark right there? I don't know how that got there. It's I don't know if it's a birthmark. It's been there since I was born. But... I stop my wing right there when I'm on that side. So I kind of cheat because I have a little marker <laughs> to let me know how far out to take my wing. So again, I'll dip it into my film, into my concealer and I'll map it out. Start from the lower lash line and I just bring it out. And again, I only take it as far as my mark, just like that. And then I'll take my 210, stick thin, and I'll dig into my black track. And I like to get this brush really loaded with product, like really thick. You see how that is? Because I can twirl the product off of it onto a napkin, and you need to do that. But you want to make sure the brush is fully coated as much as you can before you twirl some of the product off. And I map just like this. Map it out. Oop, it went a little, see it went a little past my little, it gave me a gap right there where the dip of my mark is. That's okay. I'm going to fill it in. What can you do? Fill in that right now. 
There we go. And then I take some more product because I'm going to um, fill in my wing. And now I'll just start from that mark and I'll bring it in. Oh, just poke myself in the eye. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. And I bring it in. See how wonky? It, oh, look at that. Nonetheless, we're going to clean that up. And I'll bring it in just like that. And you want to kind of look down when you do this because it helps you get that line straight. Again, small strokes when you're doing this. Really small strokes because, again, it can go left real quick if you just try to go in there and put a heavy concentration of color on your lid like that. Can you see what I'm doing? The small strokes. And I'm going to the inner corner here. And now I'm going to fill it in. And actually, I put it past my little mark today just to kind of show you this wing and what I'm doing. And I fill it in and I make sure it's even all the way because it's really important to make sure your wing is, is even. It can just look kind of silly if you don't. This wing isn't thick enough, so I'm going to make this a little thicker. And bringing it in like that. Making sure it's even. This product dries so quick. Uh, the ink lot dry, liner, um, gel liner dries quickly, but this one dries so quickly that um, you have to move fast. So it's best to practice, um, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. That's the only way for you to perfect this wing is to practice. Just like that. And you have the perfect wing. On both eyes. Okay, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Um, please let me know. Uh, like and subscribe this video down below if you enjoyed it. Um, also, feel free to make any kind of comments um, or suggestions you'd like to make as far as what videos you'd like to see. And I will see you next Tuesday. Have a blessed week, everyone. Mwah.